In a developing story, many of you reached out to us last night, letting us know you saw this mystery object zoom across the night <laughs> sky. Well, we now know it was a rocket coming back from the International Space Station. Yeah, it happened right about 10 o'clock. <laughs> I know you got a video right away. Mm -hmm. As Fox 23, Spencer Humphrey tells us all the buzz and talk this created has people in the aerospace industry excited for the future. It was just before 10 Tuesday night. Tom Shaughnessy and his kids had just wrapped up a pickleball game in Owasso when something wow. caught their eye. A flaming ball just kind of flying across the sky, which shocked everybody. He and others with him pulled out their phones and started recording. Wow, that is wild. This seemed to be something very large traveling uh, from, uh, let's say, from north to southeast. Dozens of you sent us videos of what you saw as well, and like Tom and his kids, couldn't figure out just what it was. We just assumed it was another meteor. Turns out it wasn't quite a meteor. But what people viewed last night coming through the skies was the returning uh, Dragon capsule named Freedom. It was one of SpaceX's new rockets that doesn't have to be left behind in space. SpaceX did something that no one else has done. They designed a rocket that after it launches, it can land vertically and be reused. Here at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum, they have a replica of an Apollo era space capsule. They'd have three guys in this back in the day. Now imagine with me, if you can, something just a little bit bigger than this, a lot more technically savvy though, had four people in it, and that's what you saw zooming across the night sky. Seeing all that chatter about the rocket, particularly from people like Tom who saw it with their kids, gets people here at the museum excited. It does, it really does, because then, you know, parents are like, hey, uh, go buy that model rocket. Let, you know, sit down with your child and, and do some research. You may come to find out what she already knows, that aviation and aerospace is one of the biggest industries in our state, pays well, and needs a new generation to join its workforce. We need to get the kids and, the, and their parents and their families talking about these career pathways. In Tulsa, covering news that matters, Spencer Humphrey, Fox 23 News.